G'day everybody. There's not a lot happening on the farm. I've just been doing a little bit of work on you. I replaced those tie rod ends that I said I was going to replace in the last video after I'd done the drag link. Um, I just had a quick look at mum's quad bike. It's playing up, running rough under load. I'm not really sure why. I think it's getting oil in the spark plug again. But yeah, I don't know. Happy to play around with that. Um, so yeah, anyway. It is a somewhat sunny spring day today for once. This week we have had bucket loads of rain. Uh, I think Dad was saying yesterday they got about 40 mil out here. Um, there's flooding in Victoria, around Melbourne especially. But yeah, all the rivers are up. The local river uh, down in the valleys um, flooding, and we, local creeks probably flooding pretty crazy too. I might have a look at that later on. But Dad reckons yeah, water's like running off the farm. He said it's probably um, the wettest he's seen the farm in the time he's been here, so I don't know, 50 years or something almost. Um, yeah, so we're going to go out the back and have a bit of a look. We'll have a quick look at the crops. I don't think they're doing real well. They're looking pretty ordinary last time I seen them. Um, we can't get out to spray because it's too wet. Where There's talk of maybe getting Jamie and Simon to come in and spray for us just because they'll be able to just do it quicker with their tractor and sprayer, which is sort of annoying because we've got the boom spray and we won't be able to use it. But we'll see what happens. But so there's a bit of talk about what's happening with all the crops, but they're not doing real great. Uh, but we'll have a quick look and then we'll have a look at sort of the conditions with the water. Um, obviously, there's a lot flowing off. This place has been wet all year, so it's going to be even wetter. So we'll take the quad bike out, have a bit of a look, and maybe chuck the drone up if there's anything interesting to see. So we'll be back out there in a sec. All right, we're out of the first paddock we're looking at. So this is the last paddock of oats that we sowed. So this is. Well, this is the last paddock we sowed, which was the second paddock of oats up in the cypress trees. Um, as you can see, it's not fantastic. It's probably better than what I thought it was. Um, you can see there's a bit of shark in here, a bit of dock coming up behind me, some just there. All the yellow flower stuff, I'm pretty sure is shark. Um, I can see some vetch in there, which isn't a bad thing, but if we spray it, that'll all just get killed probably. Um, some of the oats is already starting to uh, go to seed and just in this section here it's a little bit lower but further out it's a bit higher up it is sort of getting close i guess to being cut dad was saying so it's not quite as bad as i thought it's sort of patchy because we didn't put any fertilizer or anything in it this year just with the prices being so high um and also just being a super wet year but yeah it's not as bad as i thought but still not fantastic would have looked a lot better without any of the weeds if we had been able to spray which we haven't been able to but hopefully we can at least knock them knock them around a bit if we do get jamie and simon out to spray and then maybe it'll stop them from seeding again next year and uh yeah so this paddock's not as bad as i thought i uh, don't know what the barley is going to be like but we'll go have a look at the barley as well as the back paddock oats because we'll be out there in a while um, and we'll see what the conditions are out there as well. All right, so we're just out. We're in the main dooney paddock. Uh, there's the barley just in this paddock here. Um, we've got the gate open. This is where the fat lands were earlier in the year. You can see the water running out of the barley paddock. So, yeah, obviously it's all running down to this end here. So, yeah, it is super wet down here. This paddock this, where the main duty mob is is drenched. Um, and then the barley, yeah, I don't know, it looks okay-ish for what it is. I would jump the fence, but it's being electrified. So, I'm not going to hop over. But, um, looks okay, I think, um, for what we sort of started with. Obviously, it could be a lot better. There's not too many weeds in there because we ploughed it um, and it had really good dirt work, well, preparation, I guess. As I sort of said, this area has been sowed. Uh, well, I got run over quite a few times because that really should have sharp corner down the bottom here. Um, yeah, it's not real even because, as I think I said in a couple of videos, I had a lot of extra seed left over, so I started doing the paddock again. So. Yeah, sort of past those rocks it finishes a bit thinner obviously there i've gone through a few times and it's been pretty dry there obviously and it's up really quite high it's also sort of gone to seed or head or whatever they call this head 
Sorry about the wind noise. But, uh, yeah, it's still a while off that stuff anyway, I think. I would have liked to have got Dad out of here, but he got dragged to a war show by Mum today, so he's not here today. Um, so we'll have to get him out of here to give his verdict. Because he'll obviously know a bit more than what I will. But, yeah, it's still better than what it could have been. Um, with all that rotten grain and stuff. So we'll shoot over the other side of the paddock and have a look at the other proper oats. And, uh, yeah, then we'll have a look at any areas that are flowing pretty strong in water. Rightio, it's still pretty windy. Right, we are now out at the first paddock of oats that we sowed. So this paddock's generally, generally pretty wet. Um, compared to that other paddock of oats, it looks a lot more, more even. Uh, not so many like random patches of tall stuff. Um, down there, it always gets really wet. Um, I've talked about it a hundred times, like get bogged down there. Also out the other end where the gate is. But it's not looking too bad actually, this paddock. There's nowhere near as many weeds as what the first paddock oats had that we looked at. I can see some dock in there, but there's none of that charlock stuff. Um, I think that's because this one got, just got scarified and cultivated, but it was eaten down a lot more, I think, from having sheep in there. I think that's the reason anyway. Um, we haven't sprayed or anything, but it actually looks pretty half decent. So you can see some of it already, uh, the oats are already up there, the seeds of the grain, they're already starting to happen. So yeah, I think once again, probably won't be very long until this is gonna be probably ready to cut for hay. I know Dad also was talking about maybe stripping a little bit for um, grain, just for feed, or more seed if we want to sow more oats. But yeah, this paddock looks pretty good, surprisingly, because this paddock is generally, well, has been probably the worst one. Well, it was definitely the worst last year because nothing grew when we had that crappy triticale in there. But um, yeah, it's not looking too bad. So. Also, when we came back around the other side of that barley up there, it looks a lot better up this side of the paddock. It actually sort of started to thicken out a bit. Obviously, because all that raw water was running off the paddock, down that corner, it must be a lot wetter down there, not grown as well. But the further up you go, it doesn't look quite as bad, so the paddock probably isn't as bad as I thought. Uh, yeah, so we'll go and see now if we can find any big channels of water. It was down the main track, it was flowing. Oh, well, not flowing, it had must have, must have flowed during the week because all the gravel's been washed down to the gate. So, that's not much chop. All right, we're just over one of the main drains. So, it's about six inches deep, probably. I'm standing in the middle of it. It's flowing from over there where those gum trees are, it's a dam. And it flows over to here to this track. We don't really come down this part of the landway too much because it's a massive bog hole that we just get stuck in. There's a drain that cuts under there, then it follows all the way around, and there's another dam that we don't really go too much. Um, if you watched a few years ago, we put a fence, and it was the one where I put the fence, well, we must have, we lined up the fence and it ran sort of in the dam. Um, so this water runs over to that dam there, and then when that's full, which it will be, it will just overflow, and then it just goes across the boundary to the blue cum plantations, into the next farm, and it just continues flowing. So yeah, it's pretty rare that this one flows. You really need to have a lot of water coming off the paddocks and to fill the dams up to get it flowing this fast anyway. Uh, Dad took some videos the other week. He was showing me from last week when we had a heap of rain. And like this was like absolutely pumping with water flowing down there. And you can see it's like knocked all the grass over and stuff. So, fair bit of water. So I've been saying it all year. And now I can really, really say it. We don't need any more rain. Uh, so we're just over at that dam I was talking about before. Um, so yeah, this dam's like completely full, obviously it has been all year, it hasn't got down low at all. Yeah, you can see the water flows off there. There's another drain that flows up and connects with that one we were just at. And there's like a drain that cuts across this paddock, or used to cut across the pop properly to all those stupid raised beds got put in. So it's like, yeah, catch and eat water. But this paddock's holding its water because the drainage has just been destroyed by the idiots who put the raised beds in all those years ago. So, yeah, bugger you. Um, yeah, so we'll chuck the drone up. It's pretty windy, you see how I go with it. Uh, we'll just have a bit of a scan around and see what we can see. So, lambs and sheep in the background. Um, I think they're getting pretty close to being ready to be marked. So, hopefully, we'll get that done within the next few weeks at least, and it'll be another job to tick off for shearing and for haymaking. So, yeah. Rightio, guys, here we are. We're just looking at 
through the drone, obviously. So we're over near the dam and that big gum tree. You can see a bit of water lying around, has been all year. There's that little drain going up sort of in the centre of the screen, running across to that other dam up in the top left. That's where we were sort of standing, over where the water is more visible. Um, then you can see a few of the cows down there, those little black ants. Um, you can just sort of see all the water laying around um, over sort of to the right there. That always gets really wet. Um, that main big water hole in the center of the laneways where I was talking about, we get bogged all the time. So we never drive anything down all that way because it just it gets stuck. We need to um, put some rock in there to block it all up. So we're just coming across the cattle paddock now. I'm just following that drain in the center. There, it goes all the way up to that dam. And yeah, that dam's obviously full. When it fills up, just runs through the blue gum plantation up into that next farm across, which is our neighbor. And then it yeah, continues flowing. I think it flows off his joint. Going across the rock barriers where we were working with the bulldozer not long ago. And here's that first paddock of oats that we looked at. So it sort of looks strangely patchy. Like there's like clumps of grass. Uh, but yeah, it's just big clumps of oats that have grown. Dad said it has something to do with um, previous years from fertilizer maybe, and I was sort of thinking about it. I think some areas might have been where we had hay bales sitting. And also, I also sort of thought might be from where cows have crapped and it's been plowed, uh, like scarified and cultivated in, might be more nutrients there, so it's grown better. But that was sort of my idea. And then you can see up the top there on the track, all the water's pulled in that area, which also gets pretty wet. We're just panning across now, just looking at the barley, which is sort of just over into the next paddock there. I'm not sure where all that yellow stuff is on the far side. We didn't, I've been out and looked at, it, looked at it, whether or not that's just dead stuff or if it's maybe some of that Charlotte stuff. I'm not sure what's going on there. But you can see how much more yellow it is down that bottom left corner where we were standing, where all the water was flowing off. So obviously there's a lot of water in that area. And then we're coming back across to the uh, main paddock where we're standing near that dam. So this is the where the main mob of duny ewes and lambs are. And you can see yeah, just all the raised beds holding all of the water, which is just lovely. So that's, yeah, nothing, none of it's draining off. It just sort of pulls in the, um, the divots and stays there. And then up in the back, or well, top of the screen, you can see all the crops in our other neighbor's pat. Ah, uh, yeah, neighbor's farm. I think Jamie and Simon are also growing those ones. They share farm with the fellow who lives next door. And there, you can see all the water around that dam. How yeah, much it pulls and all those little tracks where we've been driving, and it's got pretty boggy. And then there's that other paddock of oats we looked at, which looks a little bit, little bit better than the uh, first paddock. Uh, looked a lot thicker and it was actually pretty surprising how well it actually looked. back up to the shed coming across to the oats paddock first one we looked at and I noticed that all the sheep the small mop of sheep the duny ewes that were in lamb to the bloody phone anyway the lamb, uh, sheep and lambs have got in here they were down the bottom near the yard but because they can go into the laneway they've also Look how wet this is. Like we are standing in pools of water. They've all, yeah, they've just, what, cause the gate was open for, into here for some unknown reason. They've just wandered in. So we're going to hunt them out.
they're probably thinking they're in heaven with how much bloody vetch and oats and stuff there is. Full of vetch. Hopefully they go out all right. I can't even see out of the oats. That's how tall it is. Hey, go that way. Well, they've knocked all this stuff down. Hopefully, it gets back up. Cows are just like, how come they get to go in there? Bloody sheep. Always shut the gate. So then we're gonna have to hunt them up all the way back up to the tank and I'll put might just put the um Mallee gate across there just to stop them coming back up here because we haven't got a gate. They can shut here at the moment. Alright, just on our way up to look at the local creek that I put in a short the other day, see how much water's flowing down there. Just stopping at the um wheat that Jamie and Simon have got in that we're share farming with. So, yeah, as you can see, that is looking very nice. Yeah, once again, <clears throat> they've got probably one of the better crops in the area. Um, they always yeah, seem to have really good crops. I guess they put a lot of time and effort and money into their stuff, so that's why they always turn out really nice. But yeah, the water doesn't really look to have affected too much, and there's no... Uh, stripe rust or anything on them as a lot of crops around here have got this year because of moist conditions but um yeah looking really good so hopefully they get a really good harvest and we'll make a bit of coin off it righty yeah, so just come down to this creek which is pretty local to the farm and it's only a couple of kilometers away uh, yeah, so you can see it's up. I'll put a short up the other week of it flowing. It wasn't quite this powerful, I don't think. Would have been close though. And this is where I drove across when I had the did the drag link end. But you can see over there on the marker, it's been up to a 0.8 of a meter, so it's almost been at a meter. So it must have been the other day when it was really powerful, uh, which was last Thursday when we had all the rain. But yeah. As you can see, a lot of water. Usually this creek doesn't, wouldn't have much in it at all this time of year. It'd be a slight little trickle. But, um, yeah, at the moment, obviously a lot of rain, a lot of floods going along around, so a fair bit of water. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. We might shoot down. There's a river also pretty close to us that's up in flood as well. We might go have a look at that too. But we'll shoot across this and uh, make our way. See all the water there flowing down the road still. So yeah, a bit of water. Council closed this road, not because there's water across the creek, because they graded it about three or four weeks ago. Idiots grading it when we're having heaps of rain around. It's completely destroyed the road. There are tracks on the farm that are smoother than this road here. Like, look at that. Bloody foot deep nearly. See the water running down there too. See a lot of water around and the council don't know how to grade tracks. So good job council.
we stand down through the bush. Uh, just gonna have a bit of lunch. So we're gonna have a look at this river down here in the valley. Uh, it's not too far away from the farm. A couple of kilometers again. Um, yeah, this is one of the main rivers in the area anyway. But I think there's a bunch of townies down here camping. So we won't be able to hop out and have a wander around. But we'll just take a bit of foot just to go over the bridge. She's up pretty high, I drove over this morning. Um, yeah, usually it's down pretty low and you can see all the rocks and stuff. But yeah, she's actually up in flood. So we'll have a bit of a boat peep and cruise on across the bridge. And you can have a bit of a look at what we can see. crossing and get out and have a look because there won't be anybody camping down there but yeah she's flowing pretty bloody hard so it's always good to see the river up and uh, getting a clean out We come down to another section of road where the river is and you can see old mate thought he'd get through on his truck and uh, got washed into the bloody river. That's not even where the river is, that's actually just a low point before the bridge we're standing on right now. But yeah, old mate was up above the two metre sign just there. So, yeah, she got up pretty bloody high. This is the actual bridge here where it crosses and this is the river area itself so yeah as you can see the water's broken the bank and up at the top of it that's just another low section that floods also but yeah got over the two meter mark and crossed the road and yeah brought all that crap up onto the road there you go you don't see that every day truck washed off a bridge into the bloody river so that section where he was in is a flood way um and when we were sort of standing up on the bridge, it sort of didn't start for a little ways back. That area just sort of floods when it uh, gets up really high. I'm not sure why they didn't just build a bridge across that whole area, but whatever. So yeah, this road's actually got a bit of a significance to us where we are. So this used to be a dad's old farm where he grew up and lived and worked until he moved to the present farm. So they used to own like all this area here up onto the top of the valley and everything owned all that um and then they yeah they sold it up so he obviously knows the river pretty well seeing the photo he reckons it's pretty interesting to see some stooge buddy driving through there apparently we were talking to a guy just then reckons the truck was in there yesterday when the water was probably at its highest and you could only it was a mac and you could only just see the top the dog sitting on top of the bonnet there so it was obviously over two meters high in that floodway but there you go stooges they're everywhere so that's our little adventures for the day done. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, we'll catch us in the next one. All right.